Okay guys, so uh, I'm having a little bit of issues with my Rampage 3 uh, Black Edition. So it worked completely fine in my uh, like last LN2 session with the board when I was testing the uh, Core i7-930 as well as the uh, dead 965. But now when I try to turn on the system to try some new CPUs, uh, when I try to uh, save any BIOS settings, it will, al it will always give me a new CPU installed error screen and it doesn't save any of the BIOS settings. I found a workaround so if you face the new CPU installed uh, error pop-up I know how to bypass that error but you cannot if you get it you cannot like uh, uh, make like overclock settings in the BIOS they will not they won't be saved so this is only for like stock operation so I thought about sharing this right now we are I'm trying to work around how to get this uh, thing fixed so we're uh, currently tracing at the socket occupied pin inside the CPU socket but I'll just show you so let's turn on the uh, system I have replaced the battery and so on so it cannot be the BIOS battery and you don't even need you don't need the BIOS battery for the motherboard to work one of the clear symptoms of this board is the uh, quite fast like post process it shouldn't be this fast so the uh, like the b8 and d5 debug codes they are much faster than what they should be but let me show you so this is the initial post only a cpu fan error so nothing so if we press f1 and just check we have like core i7 930 BIOS is 0505 BIOS 1 i of course i've tried to update the BIOS, but I, just go to the boot tab over here, go to uh, boot settings, configuration, or, or actually before I'll just show you the actual uh, like symptom. So I'll disable CPU fan speed, so F10, and look at the post screen. So the B8 is very fast as well as D5. Those are faster than what they are like normally with uh, like everything, like all free memory channels populated and so on so just wait for the above screen so this is the error screen what usually happens so new CPU installed please enter a setup to configure your system so let's press F1 so how to bypass this issue but this is again this is only for stock operation so if you want to keep using your machine so you cannot overclock with this workaround, but I'm trying to work on it. So go to the boot tab in the BIOS and then the boot settings configuration and disable the wait for F1 if error thingy. So it's enabled by default, we will disable it. And then you can boot the operating system just fine. But actually if, if I want to boot, I need to, I will, uh, in my case, I will I need to put IDE in the SATA, third-party SATA controller. But yeah, so F10 and check again. Very fast B8 and D5. At least the B8 is very, very fast, like weird fast. So 2.8, 37, 38, 75. It will post 85 if it gets stuck in the post screen or in the bars welcome thingy. So it goes A5. You, uh, it, it showed new CPU installed, but it now, uh, when it doesn't force you to press F1 to enter setup, you can boot the operating system. But again, you cannot make any like proper changes. You cannot change like. Uh, uh, like devices settings like what I did so I set IDE and so on and I disabled audio and LAN or networking but I cannot do any kind of overclocking so uh, if you get the new CPU installed thingy then uh, try this if you are having issues to get back to your operating system or in, in Windows and just let me uh, know what you think but now I will keep on working and see if I get this board like working properly again so uh, thanks for watching once again and i'll see you on the next video